Well, let's turn now to the office of real estate space. The office space has been hit hard as, as Canadians opted to work for home, from home or the hybrid model in recent years. The latest report from a commercial real estate services firm CBRE shows that Canada's national downtown office vacancy rate reached a record high of almost 20 percent in the fourth quarter of last year. For more, we are joined by Paul Morasuti. He's a chairman at CBRE Canada. Thanks so much for joining us, Paul. Nice to see you again. So it sounds like um, when it comes to th this jump um, in the, the vacancy rate, it, we can thank Toronto. <laughs> um, that's one way of putting it. Um, in several markets, Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, Halifax, we actually, actually saw vacancy tick down a little bit, kind of good news. In Toronto, yes, there was a significant jump in vacancy. I don't think there was any um, specific seismic shift in the Toronto market. It really is a, a function of, in the fourth quarter, we had some new buildings being added to uh, the inventory. Um, that has caused vacancy to go up. And in the last year in Toronto, um, I think we've, we've added uh, over a million square feet, almost 600,000 square feet just in that last quarter. Mm. That's the reason really for vacancy moving up. Um, I wouldn't suggest there was anything that's Toronto specific. In your report, you talked about um, that those new properties that came to market in Toronto are, are largely vacant at, at this point. I mean, is that just the sort of the regular, like comes to market and you haven't jumped into the, the space yet or they don't have people for those spaces? So most new buildings that are being delivered to the market are largely pre-leased. Mm. So for next year in Canada, I think we've got about 11 million square feet still coming. 54% of that is pre-leased. In, in the case of Toronto in Q4, we had a few buildings come to the market that had no pre-leasing. That, that caused the numbers to jump. No and, I, and I think, hmm. you know, that headline sounds scary, all-time high record. Yeah. Um, and we've talked about this before, Jacqueline, but I think it is inappropriate at this point to look at the office sector as one big homogenous sector. Uh, and as we've spoken about before, there is a tranche of inventory that because it's old, it's dated, it's commodity office, and importantly, because it has no pathway to decarbonization, that portion of the market may never recover, at least not in a meaningful way. If you net that out of the rest of the inventory and you say that that's non-competitive space, the rest of the inventory is competitive space. When you make that adjustment, the actual vacancy rate for competitive product in Canada is much lower than the headlines would suggest. Mm. So we are not out of the woods yet. 2024 will be challenging but the market is not quite as scary as that headline would suggest. And just quickly, Paul, in terms of, um, you know, expectations for more construction on, on offices, that, that pipeline is looking pretty, pretty dry yeah. at this point? Yeah. We're working our way through it. Yeah. So um, I think we uh, are, are probably at the level now that we were in 2017 in terms of new supply coming uh, on. Right. This wave is not over yet, but it's largely over. And once it's over, once we, just like the retail market where we didn't build any new malls and the retail market today is flourishing, yeah. I think you will see a big difference in the office sector when we get supply under control. Okay. I know remote work continues to get all of the headlines. In Toronto, to yeah. supply is the bigger issue.